Oh my God. This was awe-inspiring. I cannot stress enough how incredible it was. <laughs> like you have to, you you just have to abandon whatever you're doing. The next one's in 20 years, that's gonna be in America. So whatever you're doing, I don't care what it is, you've gotta make plans to go because there's nothing like being in the line of totality. It was incredible, it was fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, we were gonna go to Waco, Texas, but the weather wasn't looking too good. So at the last minute, we pivoted and uh, got hotel rooms up in Portland and then drove up the rest of the way here. Yes. Oh, and we are thrilled, thrilled to be here. It, it was wonderful. We were not happy with the clouds, um, especially with the rain, because the rain was not forecast at all this morning. And uh, we were just hoping and praying that the clouds would break in time, and, and they did. And they certainly did. Uh, just watching that blue kind of work its way across the lake, and then to hear where we are, it was, uh, I said, yep, we're going to have it. It's going to be great. Suddenly, for about three and a half to four minutes, we had total eclipse. And there appeared the solar corona around the sun. There was a light cover of clouds, so it wasn't quite as emotionally moving as what is described to you when you talk to people who have seen it themselves. But it was pretty darn good. I am seeing a bit of that 360 degree um, sunset. Yes, yes, yeah. That is really cool. It's it's um, it's amazing. Even though we're in you know the total shadow right. here, it, there's still the corona is still pretty bright. It I mean, is incredibly you, bright. You could read by the light of the corona. <laughs> I think I would have some trouble reading, but I probably could. I could technically read something. <laughs>